As a veterinarian, it's important to understand the common diseases that affect our furry friends. And with rabbits becoming an increasingly popular pet, we're here to teach you about one of the most common diseases that affects them, coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is a disease caused by a protozoan parasite known commonly as coccidia. The genera Amira is the only pathogenic coccidia to rabbits. However, of the 1700 species, there are only about 12 species that affect them. The main species that infect rabbits are intestinal coccidia E. perforans and E. intestinalis, and hepatic coccidia E. styidae. Amira is host-specific, however, all species have their own pathogenic coccidia. Rabbits, however, are the only species of which their liver is also affected. Rabbits become infected by ingesting oocysts. Oocysts are the non-motile but infectious cystic form of coccidia. These cysts are made up of a cyst wall with four sporocysts, each containing two sporozoites. They are found in the environment in contaminated food and water, bedding and feces. Once inside the rabbit's digestive system, the oocysts hatch in a process called existation, and the parasites start to multiply. The epithelial mucosal cells, or enterocytes of the intestines and liver hepatocytes, are where these parasites target to live and proliferate. During asexual reproduction, the enterocytes fill with developing protozoa which multiply asexually to form merozoites. These then invade other nearby cells and continue multiplying, causing widespread tissue and blood vessel inflammation, rupture and injury. During sexual reproduction, or gametogony, an unsporulated oocyst is produced, ruptures from the cell, in this case an enterocyte, and makes its way out of the small intestine and into the feces. The prepatent period is on average five days. This complex life cycle lasts around four to 14 days, depending on the species, and the damage can result in bloody diarrhea, depression, weight loss, and even death in severe cases. Clinical signs are seen in rabbits under six months of age and less immunocompromised, because adult rabbits will have developed immunity. Most rabbits are exposed to coccidia in their life without developing disease, and some are considered carriers and will continue to shed oocysts. However, other diseases or infections, as well as poor diet or living conditions, can cause an adult rabbit to present clinically. To diagnose coccidiosis, you can conduct a faecal float exam on day 7 of the life cycle to check for the presence of oocysts. This can be achieved by mixing the faecal sample in a solution with a flotation agent, such as sodium nitrate, to separate the eggs. This can be checked and counted under a microscope to determine severity. To prevent coccidiosis, it is important to keep a rabbit's living environment clean and hygienic. This includes regularly cleaning their cages to reduce the number of oocysts, providing clean water and food, and avoiding overcrowding. Additionally, anti-coccidial medications are available as treatment, such as tocosurol and sulfodimethoxine. Supportive care is also important for treatment, including fluid hydration. Coccidiosis can be a serious disease in rabbits, especially under six months of age, so it is important to inform clients of the best practice to minimise any possibilities of their bunny contracting the disease. With the right prevention and treatment, we can help keep the bunnies healthy and happy. Thank you for watching.